This is this is almost a, like a, the next generation of a, of, a, of a plate meter. A plate meter is good and very useful for certain situations. This will be able to provide more data, more accurate data, quicker data, and more precise data than we would be getting from a plate meter. It's essentially un ultrasound sensors that send uh, uh, sound down to the ground and measures its uh, reflection back to the sensors at the bottom of the units here. And that will tell you the height of the grass. From that, we can work out the grass cover in kilograms of dry matter per hectare. You use this in conjunction with a handheld smartphone. So it's related data back to that all the time, as well as to the, uh, your computer through the website, the Grassometer website. So a plate meter would have just told you the readings in the field. You have to note that down and take it back to your computer. This automatically relays it back to the base and also back to your handheld iPhone or smartphone. And how much would one unit cost for Dover? It's expected that it's going to be around about £1,600. That's an estimate at the present time, uh, inclusive of VAT. It will be available uh, from now, but it's, it's, today is its first date, it's its launch date, so to speak. Thank you very much. And now we move on to a more traditional style of measuring grass growth, a plate meter, and Piers Badner will tell us a bit more about that. Using a plate meter is about measuring and understanding how much grass there is there um, and then allocating it through the season. Uh, most dairy farmers can get a good amount of milk from grass in May and June. What we're trying to really trying to achieve here is actually to use, um, use the plate meter, use rotational grazing and use the figures it creates um, to actually manage that grass through the season so we can have 12 ME grass from February through to November. Grass is really cheap feed, what we need to do is make the most of it. So by using the plate meter we can measure it and then we can basically allocate it through the year. We can keep on top of it. If we let it get too far away, the plant actually wants to go into, it wants to put a seed head up and therefore goes into a more lignified sort of state. What we're trying to keep it is in a vegetative state. So by using the plate meter we can measure that and we can actually work out what grass and paddocks this time of year we need to take out of, out of production, stick it into a bale, so that actually we can keep on top of that plant. So we are trying to keep it so that it's, the plant is available at two and a half to three leaves grazing, which is where we maximise quantity and quality. So really the, the plate meter is about how to measure that so that actually we've got the information to make those critical decisions so we can keep grass in uh, in the perfect state for what we're trying to do. What it works on is on a what's called compressed height. If we see here the shaft actually comes down and comes out, that hits the ground and that's what we're recording is the height there. Um, but what we're not just recording height, recording press height, compressed height, because we want to take account of density because this has got a bit of weight on it and if we look at this this ward here now, it's extremely dense, very dense, but actually there's not a great deal of height to it. So therefore what we could, if we looked at it and just said, looked at it in terms of height, we'd say, well actually there's not a great deal of grass there. So what we want to do is actually work out how much we, we, there is. So by using the plate meter, if we put that actually on top of the grass, you can see as the grass is so dense, the shaft goes down, the grass is supporting some of that, uh, the weight there. That then gives you the, your compressed height there, and if we, as we go across fields, as we do that over and over again, we can see the machine is um, totting up the figures. So that's just basically the compressed height. In the box, there's a calculation that um, works out how many kilograms of dry matter per hectare there is. So if I then just press the button, if that was, I'd walked across the field there then, that would mean there was 2,917 kilos of dry matter in a hectare. We, what we'd like to do is graze the cows down to a nice residual of about 1,500. So basically that's telling me there's 1,500 kilos available. So we can be extremely precise on what we, how we allocate grass to those animals. So if we've got 100 animals and we want them to eat, um, let's say, 15 kilos each, that means we need 1,500 kilos of dry matter. And if on this, that would mean there'll be a hectare. So you allocate them a hectare. And a hectare is basically 100 paces by 100 paces. So we can actually bring, start to bring some real um, accurate figures together and then match them on farm to maximise grass. They're about 400 pounds. Um, if you don't use them and you don't use them properly, it's the worst 400 pounds you'll ever spend. But if you use it and utilise it, I think you can get a payback on that certainly within a week or so. 
It's really about using those figures. It's a real leap forward uh, in grassland management and utilisation.